By the end of this video, I'm going to give you the exact AI phone agent that can do this. I would like to book an appointment. Sure thing. Let's get that set up for you. Uh, yep, that's correct. Great. What's the best phone number to reach you at? By the time you're done watching this video, my goal is for you to have practical ways that you can actually go out and make money online utilizing AI that is gonna give you reoccurring revenue every single month. We hear so much about AI and how people are making money online utilizing AI, but it's really hard to go out there and just find simple, practical examples of how people are actually implementing this into starting an online business. So we're gonna be using a tool today called Go High Level to build this all out. I'll leave a link in the description so you can start a free trial if you wanna follow along. And for anyone that uses the link, I'm actually gonna give them the exact template, like I said in the beginning, that I'm gonna go over today. So you can take this, Go out there, make a few tweaks, and sell it to business owners as quickly as possible. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, what problem are we solving for business owners? Business owners get a ton of phone calls every single day, and if they're not available, they're missing out on money. Missed calls equals missed customers, and missed customers equals lost revenue. Now, because business owners don't have time to answer every single phone call, especially after hours, with this AI phone agent, they're able to capture every single call that's coming in and it can even book appointments for them so that when they come into the business the next day, they got a new appointment on their calendar. So let's jump into high level and you can see exactly how this works. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we're gonna jump into high level and we're gonna come over here to the left side and we're gonna go to AI agents. Now, if you want the template and the voice AI agents that I'm about to show, again, you can click the link in my description. And when you sign up for a free trial utilizing Go High Level for the 30 day trial, um, I'll email this template over to you. So when you come into here, you're gonna go ahead and click on voice AI, and then you're gonna see this button right here for agent list. Now we have two agents that are gonna be in here, Carla and Sam, and we're gonna focus on Carla today. So Carla is our service-based business AI agent that again, is all built out, ready to go. When you get the template, you can make a few tweaks if, if needed, um, and you should be ready to rock and roll. Now, if you are not utilizing this template or this snapshot that I mentioned, you can create a uh, agent right up here for yourself. Um, I have other videos that talk about exactly how to do that from scratch. So feel free to take a look at those videos if needed. So let's go ahead and select Carla here. And we're going to run through this pretty quickly. So right here, this is just general info, right? If you want to change the name or you know, obviously you have to update the business name. <laughs> don't, don't leave it as master template or change the voice. Go ahead and do so. And then we're going to primarily focus right here on the agent goals. So first things first, we loaded in a whole knowledge base for this AI agent. So you'll see here, we have this whole knowledge base that I'll provide over to you. And it has a variety of different businesses on it. Again, all service-based businesses, roofing, plumbing, car detailing, landscaping, real estate, HVAC, uh, general contractors, handyman, so, so on and so forth. Now, the goal of this is to give you a lot of different knowledge bases that you can work off of. So hopefully if you're in one of those niches, you know, you don't have to make a ton of changes, but even if you're not in one of those niches, uh, that's fine. Go ahead and get your own knowledge base. If you need to do that, what all you do is just hit this to create new button right here. And then when you go into the create new button, it's going to take you to settings and you can select create new knowledge base up here in the top, right? We'll go ahead and just do a test one. And then when you do a test one, you'll see here, you have three different options, web crawler, FAQs, and tables. You'll just hit add source in the top, right? And then what I would suggest is doing web crawler FAQs, you're manually putting in a question and an answer. But if you just do web crawler, what you can do is a, you can just go directly to the business owner's website and post their URL directly in here. And it will train the bot on the data on that web page. So it makes it really easy and simple. So if they have an FAQ page already there, boom, it's done or B, what you can do is you can take a Google doc similar to what I did and make sure that it's just on a public viewing setting. Um, so this is where you can house all the knowledge base and then take that and then just enter the URL right here. And again, once again, just train the bot on the data. So a uh, quick caveat in case you do need to add or tweak the knowledge base, or even if you are utilizing one of these niches in here, you can go ahead and just say you're, you're doing roofing. Great. Um, if the business you're working with, the, the cost on average for the roof is, you know, nine to $11,000, just make that small tweak and, and you're good to go. All right. So let's go ahead and go back to the voice AI agent here. So again, agent list, we'll go back into Carla, go to agent goals. And now we're back to where we were before. 
Now it's going to use this knowledge base on every call, right? So no matter what, if someone's asking questions or comes up with concerns or wants to book an appointment, it's going to use that knowledge base and reference back to it when needed. But the most important part here is the prompt. And what we've gone ahead and did is we've actually put in a custom prompt into high level so that this bot is geared and trained to book appointments. It's actually really interesting because the default template that high level gives um, is more just knowledge sharing and not really uh, assisting in booking appointments. So this bot is completely trained out on the structure of the call, um, how to take general questions and guide the call in such a way to book appointments. And it will give the steps of the call, you know, one through eight is what we have in here to once again, get the phone number, get the name, confirm things like the spelling of the name, right? You'll see again, that's John, right? J O H N, um, and things like that. So this prompt will all be in here ready to go for you so that again, you can come in here, make a few tweaks as needed or leave it as is, um, if you're good to go and, um, yeah, you, you'll be ready to rock and roll. The, the biggest thing that you'll always want to change, obviously is just right here where it says, um, you're a dedicated customer support specialist for, or at master template. Again, just change the name to the name of the business and uh, you'll be good to go. All right, now, once you're done with the prompt, what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna come down here to new action. Now, under new action, there's a multiple things that you can do, right? So you can call transfer, you can trigger a workflow, which we'll talk about here in just a second. Send a text message, update a contact field, uh, appointment booking, so on and so forth. So anyway, we're gonna focus on appointment booking because you might be wondering, hey, how does this actually connect to a calendar and do doesn't overlap with other appointments that the business is booking? So what you can go ahead and do is just hit this button right here for appointment booking, and then you can select a calendar. So if you've never selected a calendar or built a calendar in high level before, the way that you do this is over here on the left side, you can go to calendars, you can go to calendar settings, and then in calendar settings, you can go ahead and select a new calendar. And there's different types of uh, calendars. So you can do personal booking, round robin. So again, just depending on the business type, you can select whatever one you want. Fill out this information. You can go into the advanced settings. Um, so let me go into another one just so you can see what this looks like. So I'll just do this little pencil icon. And when you're in advanced settings, this is what it will look like. And you can set things like availability. Um, how many uh, minutes do you want in between each appointment, right? So say it's like a landscaping business and they need to drive to each one. Um, you can put that in there as well. You can also use a, a calendar link from the business owner that they already have. Um, if you want to install that into there as well. And then once you come back here into the AI agents, again, let's go back to voice AI agents, agent list. We'll go to Carla agent goals. When you come down here back to that new action button, you can do appointment booking and connect it to a calendar, right? So that's how you connect the calendar. You can hit save and then you'll be good to go. Next, we're going to talk about workflows. So we already have automations and workflows built into this snapshot as well. So if you want to trigger a workflow after the call is completed, all you got to do is do this checkbox, select here, and then we have a workflow in here called seven day appointment confirmation and reminder. So with this workflow, if, you, if you're wondering what a workflow is, these are automations that are built out on the back end in high level. So after the call is completed, have you ever gotten a text before, right? Where it's like, um, hey, thanks for booking your appointment. Your, your appointment is confirmed for this day and this time, right? That's exactly what this is doing. So it will send them that confirmation text um, and then leading up to their appointment, right? A few days before, the day before, an hour before, it's gonna send those text messages. Um, so that person, is able to um, have better show rates, right? So we wanna have good show rates, good quality leads for these business owners. Um, so that will be all set up. If you want to make any tweaks to this workflow, all you gotta do is come down to automations on the left side of Go High Level. You can go into the automation. So these will be all the different automations that are loaded into the snapshot as well. So if this isn't the only one that you have access to, you'll have access to a ton. You can click into this automation and make changes accordingly. Again, we're not gonna focus on this too much in this video. I have other videos that go over automations, but if you do need to make changes or tweaks, that's where you'll find that. All right, now back to the agent list once again. So we're going back into Carla, back into uh, agent goals here and scrolling down. The final thing that I'll just say if you want to send email notifications after a call is completed from the AI agent, you can absolutely do that. And it's very customizable, right? So you can give it to all users within the platform. Um, so, you know, the business owner and their staff members, you can give it to specific users, or if the business has a general email um, that the front desk manages, right? You can send it to that one email for all of them to uh, keep track of. All right. 
Next, let's go to phone availability. And really all we're gonna cover here is how to make sure that your phone number is connected and then how the phone agent is available. So um, if you need a phone number and you've never set one up in high level before, it's pretty simple. So over here on the left side, we're gonna just go down here and we're gonna go to settings. All right, and then once you're in settings, you're gonna go ahead and go to phone numbers and then you're just gonna hit add number and then you're gonna hit add number right here. And then typically what I do is I filter by uh, the part of the number. So you'll see here, it says match to. So I'll just do like first part and then I'll type in the area code that I want and then I'll deselect toll free and I, I'll hit apply. And then you'll see here, it'll give us a bunch of phone numbers um, that are local to that area code. It's like a dollar a month. So if you wanna work that into the price of your services, great. Um, I usually just included it for the business owners that I worked with because it was a dollar. So uh, it doesn't make that big of a difference. And then once that's done, you'll want to get A2P verified. So again, we're not going to go super in depth into A2P verification in this video. In this video, I have another video on my channel that goes in depth how to get verified and get your phone number all good and ready to go. So if needed, go ahead and watch that video. But that's how you purchase a phone number and you're able to connect it. All right. Now, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and jump back into AI agents again, voice AI, and then agent list. We'll go back into Carla and then we'll go to phone and availability. All right. Once we're back in here, you'll be able to do the drop down and select the number that you've now purchased. And now down here, you'll see there's a few options. So option number one, does this AI agent want to be, or does the business owner want it to be the primary way that the business is answering phone calls. Because what most business owners typically like, in my experience, is they like to be the first point of contact or their front desk staff. So typically what you can do is just flip this on and it will enable the AI agent to act as a backup. So what that means is it will bring the business owners first. They will be able to have the opportunity to pick up the phone. And if they don't, then it will forward over to the AI agent so they don't lose out on that lead and can still capture it, book an appointment and don't lose out on that revenue. The other part of this is you can set working hours for the agent if needed. So yeah, go ahead, do that. If you wanna put in times and days of the week, that's great. Um, use case for this would be maybe the business owner wants to you know, only have them be available you know, during the day. Um, and then the AI agent takes things after hours. But typically what I've seen is most business owners, they just like it to have them be the first point of contact and then forward over after. But again, my point here is it's very customizable. All right. And that's it. That is the template. So let's go ahead and test this out so you can see exactly how this works um, and get a little sneak peek of the service and the problem that you can solve for business owners. All right. So check this out because this is pretty dang cool. So now we're going to go ahead and actually test our AI agent. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a call and it's going to call me for the test. So you'll see here, I got a call. I'm going to go ahead and accept this call. Hey, you have reached master template. How can I help you today? Yes, I would like to book an appointment. Sure thing. Let's get that set up for you. Can I start with your name, please? Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Nathan. Thanks, Nathan. That's N-A-T-H-A-N, right? Uh, yep, that's correct. Great. What's the best phone number to reach you at? And can you receive text messages on it? Uh, yeah, I can. But real quick, um, I just had a question. How much does a roof uh, typically cost? The cost of a roof replacement typically ranges from $8,000 to $15,000, depending on the size, materials, and labor involved. If you'd like, we can also provide a free estimate during your appointment. Should we go ahead and book that for you? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. What's the best phone number to reach you at? Yeah, it's 555-555-5555. Uh, Got it. That's 555-555. 5555, right? Can you also receive text messages on this number? I can. Great. Now, could I get your email address to complete the details? Uh, yes. Yep. That is test at gmail.com. Thanks. Just to confirm, that's T-E-S-T -E at G-M-A-I-L dot com, correct? Yep. That's exactly right. Perfect. Lastly, could I have your address, please? Yep. It's 555 Awesome Street. Thanks. Just to confirm, that's 555 Awesome Street, right? That's correct. Great. We've got everything we need. We have availability this week. Would you prefer a morning, afternoon, or evening appointment? Uh, let's do a morning. All right. Let me check. We have morning slots available tomorrow, Wednesday, September 17th. Would that work for you? 
that would. All right, and that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Feel free to take this AI phone agent and use this exact template to go start your own business. I'll post some additional resources in the description below as well. I offer a free course and a free community that dives really in depth on how to start your own online business utilizing Go High Level from the ground up. So make sure that you check out those links. And finally, because we give all of this away for free, feel free to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and please leave a like on this video if you found it helpful. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.